Let's see. Let's show me show me that uh, that Iron Man then. <laughs> All right. So this is our what what is it? Our YouTube channel. This, it's gonna be the well. This is our first like as live stream of our potential uh, YouTube channel in general called <laughs> Juguetes en Caliente. Juguetes en Caliente. My name is Alan. I'm from San Diego. My name is Ro. And My name is Ro from LA. We're we've been best friends in high school, and uh, we've been collecting hot toys. I think I've been started since February of this year, 2022. So around six months, and I've already spent over three thousand dollars. So I'm definitely in it. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, he showed me his collection, and I was like, oh, that is sick. And then I bought my first toy, and now I'm in the same place. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I think you got, like, nine toys in one sitting, so you definitely like the first one that you got. Yeah, it's the hot toys problem, right, where uh, when you go in, you you don't really know that whatever collection you're trying to get or if you're trying to get the toys that you like, uh, that those are going to go out of stock. <laughs> yeah. you, you didn't explain that there's a limited amount of supply. After that, I was like, "Uh oh, I already bought three. I need the other nine thousand. This is this is a lifetime hobby now." Yeah, it is. It really is. And the reason why we're starting the channel is because it is a lifetime hobby, and I think it's it's just once I started, I don't see myself stopping. No, and I don't know if you feel the same way, but I am not stopping anytime soon, even if my girlfriend just says. I'm spending too much money. That would be the only thing. And then at that point, you know, then, you know, we're, we're going to have to have a serious conversation with the girlfriend. Well, at that point, the girlfriend leaves. <laughs> and the hot toys stay. Yeah, the hot toys stay. Yeah, right now I'm trying to get, you know, the room situated uh, to make it a hot toys house. All right. Take yes. over every room. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the basically our intro. We're going to talk today about the Iron Mark 7, which Hot Toys released a couple pictures of. And we're gonna share. It's the we're gonna talk about open it. suit version, right? Yeah, open suit version, which you really like. I'm not a fan of because I don't think. How can I display? Am I display it frontwards, backwards? What I don't know. So we're gonna share the screen real quick. Let's see here. I'm trying to figure this out. <clears throat> All right. Like while he gets it on, too, just so everybody knows, uh, I started just with a. Uh, full Clone Wars uh, collection. I'm trying to complete my Clone Wars collection and then maybe get into some other ones. Uh, this is where I'm convincing the wifey, you know, that it's not right now. She, she thinks it's just a Clone Wars collection. It's probably going to expand as we know. Here we go. All right. So this is a Iron Man Mark 7 open armor version. I like it, dude. Like, I... I, I, I know what you you mean, right? Like, it, it is not a standard Iron Man suit. And when it's closed in that second, I don't know if you have the other version where you can see kind of both of them um, yeah. together. <clears throat> That's the only thing I don't like, that it's, it is a little clunky when you close it down. So it doesn't look like a clean Iron Man suit. But I like the fact that you can see the whole inside of it. I didn't know... However, that it didn't come with the uh, Tony. They show the pictures yeah. with Tony Stark. Yes. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like At least I'll have a Tony Stark and I'll have the Iron Man. They're trying uh, to no. deceive you with the fact that it comes with the Iron Man, but it doesn't. Yeah. All right, yeah. But, but, okay, I'm just going to start off saying Iron Man 3, not the best Iron Man movie. Correct. Yes. Not the best one ever. Like, I pre I got pre-ordered. I pre-ordered the Iron Man uh, Mark Three from the Iron Man movie. The classic yeah. movie. And that I'm really excited for because I don't have an Iron Man. So seeing that. Head sculpt on that one too. Oh, my God. The head sculpt on that is insane with the little, uh, I guess, sweat the mark. Scar. The blood. Oh, my God. It looks so good. But the thing about this one that I just, I'm trying to move into the, the, one, the picture that you're talking about. Like this. All right. You like it because yeah, you're, you're a big farm of like big fan of transformers and stuff like that, like moving things around. Yes, like, I like the mechanical like features. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah. That. Don't you don't mess with that. that. You want it. You want to have it there, stationary. Yes, it's, it's, it's the, the boring poses, man. I, like I need I need poses. movement. I need them moving in the background. 
<laughs> I can't do that. And then also, I'm kind of scared. I don't see anything about the lighting. Like, is it is it a USB C or USB or is it battery? You know what I mean? That's a good point. Yeah, I don't. I haven't seen anything, but I mean, just based on Hot Toys's current, you know, the last three figures that they've released, at least for the Star Wars versions, you know, like I think uh, Darth Vader was one that had the USB lightsaber. Um, we had another one, right? It was the that one. Mm-hmm. I just bought one too. Um, yeah. What did I just order. pre-order? Well, I pre-ordered the Obi Wan Kenobi from the series. That did that one have a USB the... lighting feature? Yes, and the Darth Vader comes with it too. I think. Yeah, Darth Vader for sure. Yeah. So um, my selling point, I like it. Am I going to get it? Probably not. But it would make a selling point if it is like something you can connect and you don't have to worry about the lighting ever turning off, you know? Which is Yeah, like, like a nice little display. You can always change the batteries, but it's like, uh, you know what I mean? The thing is, this would be my first. I know, I know you already ordered, like you said, the Iron Man suit. Uh, and that's going to be your first delve into the Marvel world. Of hot toys, at least, yes. right? I am. Um, this would be potentially my first. I'm strictly Star Wars. I don't know. Same here. I'm, I'm, I'm technically strictly Clone Wars, like I said. <laughs> so even even smaller in scope here. <laughs> but this it, one, it looks sick. This one I would get. I think I would get if it came with the double pack, the two pack, like the Iron Man, like that, and then you also get the suit. That's a great way to display it. Yeah, that's why I was so excited about it when I sent it to you. Because I was like, oh, dude, look at this thing. And that's the picture I had seen with both of them there together. So I was like, this is a good set. But again, it's just the Hot Toys Deceit, you know. They, they know how to get you. Yeah, it's like when they show you this toy right here, the Scout Trooper. And then there's like two of them in the display pictures. And one of them's on the bike. Like, it looks cool. But I don't have the space for the bike. Like, I just don't. I'm not going to do that. It's impossible. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to talk about uh, space constraints in another video because uh, that's that's a whole topic for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just made those detops like about a week and a half ago, and I'm super happy with them. But I bought a fourth one because I thought I had enough space, and I couldn't build it because I have nowhere to put it. Yeah, that's the thing, and that, that it, it does make it look. I mean, I can say that I saw your uh, your display before you had the details. Yeah, seeing that and seeing them now makes a world of a difference. The like lighting, this looks. Lighting's the key, but let's go yeah. back to the Iron Man. This picture is really cool. Like I would display it like this. I think that would be the way to display it, because it's like yeah, him like, going into the suit. It's like a scene from the movie, right? When he's kind of having like a hard attack or something or he thinks he's having an anxiety attack and then he goes into the suit to calm down this would be it but I'll, you're not going to get the iron man so it's like so, so i was going to say that's also the the issue with this one that you're probably not going to display it from the front that's the thing like you're not going to display it like <laughs> this like why would you display it like uh, so it is kind of dumb like you're just looking at the back side of this guy <laughs> exactly the like, entire time. I think it looks cool, like like this, but it's like it's like a Lego set, like you know, like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I wonder, you know, what I what I can't tell either is once you close it down, is it articulated? Like, can you move it like any other normal Hot Toys figure? Or do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I think, think so. Because so, there's no posing pictures on it. Mm. And, and, and if you can see, the legs don't open. Because you gotta have some weight, you know what I mean? Like, you won't be able, I don't know, it's weird. I don't think you can. Yeah, I think this is a figure specifically for people that already have an Iron Man collection. Yeah, they have exactly. this facing forward and they want that back shot. That, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I, well, I don't know why, but I got the impression again with the, with the Iron Man being there and that one that you know you could close it down and make it a full working iron man figure that was just a little clunkier potentially um but now that i see it i mean it makes sense it's not it's not really like that i mean it looks really good and the fact that it's die cast like that looks really cool i don't know what the diorama is though i've never seen that for hot toys i have no idea Maybe, maybe it's the same thing that you're saying i mean it's really more of a diorama piece right it's a background piece yes that could be it. That you're spending, it's not really a figure. Yeah, that could be it. But if you're spending 365 
for a for yeah, diorama. diorama that you can't really move around. You're just gonna have it in one pose. Like well, think about it. It's like you said, you you're it's a diorama piece for the unsuited Iron Man yeah. figure. Yeah. And look, I mean, I'm 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 not the only one looking at it right now. Like, there's there's some action. Going Three thousand eight hundred and sixty-eight <laughs> people. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I didn't so, even think you could see that feature actually. I'm new to the. It's not the people watching our live stream because that's not real. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely the people watching the diecast Iron Man open armor. I was going to say, shout out to that one dude, hey? I see you. <laughs> like I said, this is our first video. We wanted to talk about this because it's a very unique piece, and we got to start somewhere, right? You got to press record one time or another. And I'm waiting right now on the Batman, well, the Nightmare Batman versus Superman. We're going to do an unboxing, and we're going to do a review. And that's going to be our first ever. And I think it's a yeah. great... It's, I think it's a great piece to start with because one hundred percent, you don't see a lot of double toy. What do you call them? Um, double. It, 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 uh, yeah, I guess so, double double displays. No double. I don't know, uh, but yeah, those like, just double figures, basically. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine. Let's go back. Imagine just displaying it like this. This looks dumb. <sighs> yeah, you can't do the front, dude. You gotta do the back. Like you can't. What? You gotta do it like that. Yeah. That's the only way. And I think that's the perfect pose, too. Like, if you have the Iron Man. I like him stepping into it. I mean, that's what I would yeah, probably do myself. Yeah. But that's the other thing with uh, that I noticed, too. I don't know if you noticed that, like, the neck area where it's open is not big enough for him to realistically go into this suit. <laughs> I mean, so you're, I, you're not going to put him in there. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, I'm not saying that, like, put, put him in there. But to make it look a little more realistic, I guess it would have to be some sort of opening where the you know he could actually step into it. Yeah. This one, it doesn't. It's not doing it for me now that I like am looking at it a little more. No. Like so, said, I'm probably gonna skip. It's like you said. I think it's for the fan of Marvel figures that already has like a big collection of Iron Mans. Yeah. If, if yeah. this is gonna, if you don't have an Iron Man like you or uh, like yourself or myself. This wouldn't be a go-to, I think. I don't, I don't think so. I don't yeah. think so. Unless you're willing to spend, you know, four hundred dollars on it, then for sure go for it. But I went Wish. for the. And this looks great. I mean, it looks really cool. It reminds me of the <laughs> Men in Black suit, the, the guy with the face that opens up. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, like this goes well with that. I mean, they have it in the picture here, right? The, the whole seven suit. Um, what is it called? The like where all the Iron Man suits are displayed in the background. Yes. What is that called? The the, the case. I don't know what it's called, but sure. What they have in the back on this picture. That's a cool like to have this one and that one as a whole diorama piece. Yeah. Pretty sick, right? It's more of a Tony Stark. Yeah. I guess. Uh. Almost like a shrine. It is, and and I mean, it says diorama. I think that's what. That's the selling point right there. It's just uh, a piece to show. You're not. It's, it has no articulation. I don't think you're going to be able to pose it. I don't think you're going to be able to. It shouldn't be like if you only have one Iron Man and this is it. It's going to look so awkward. Like <laughs> you went with this one. Like cool. I don't know. Like oh yeah. That's true. Know. That is true. That is true. Yeah, I, I didn't realize that it was a diorama piece. But now, like seeing that, it, it makes no sense to buy it. Just <laughs> this is your first one. <laughs> yeah. If this is your first one. I like I like the base it comes in. I like that. That looks really cool. The whole thing, I mean, it looks tight again for someone that is gonna get it for their like Tony oh, Stark true. figure. Yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna skip now. Yeah. I mean I since I saw it, I was like, okay, I like what they're doing. I'll but it's not for everybody. And it and it just goes to say is like, why don't they just come out with toys that are more popular? You know, like Hot Toys just does random things. Like this is random to me. One hundred percent. I'm waiting not, for. I told you the Logan toy. Like how they have not pounced on Logan yet, I will not understand. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm waiting on like Anakin from because uh, they're coming out with uh, Attack of the Clone series. I'm waiting on the Anakin okay. with the little little you know the thread. Yeah, his little red. Yeah, the classic the OG. 
that'd be so cool. Like, uh, come the, out with something the, that... It's going to say Anakin, the little fresco version. <laughs> Mr. Fresh. Yeah, the Mr. Killer. Fresh. <laughs> Anakin that no one liked because he was so white. <laughs> I hate those movies. But I, I love I them, dude. I know. I know. I know. I know. I love them. <laughs> Especially now, like they, they've aged well. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm we, not, we, all, no. we all hated them when they first came out, you know. I and I'm hoping that that's going to be the the case with the the newest trilogy, which I know we all, well, for the most part, I'm not going to say everybody, but that's never going to happen. I wasn't the biggest fan. I think with time, it might be just like this one where I'm like, you know what? I was wrong. Maybe. Am I going to regret not getting a Kylo Ren? I don't think so. I really don't think so. The Kylo Ren figure is tight, man. I like it, but I, I don't need it. I don't, I don't respect the trilogy that they made enough for me to buy them. I feel you. I feel that's why I, yeah, in my whole collection, I mean, because I like um, the Clone Wars portion the most. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what I like, and I kind of lost you here. Actually, let me try to get you back. Or, That's fine. My bad. I think, I think we're done with the discussion, anyways. I'm, it's a okay. pass for me. If it was cheaper, also gonna be a pass for me. If it was cheaper, maybe, but four hundred dollars worth for a diorama piece. Even on my end, if it was cheaper, I think now that I again, yeah, know that it's a diorama piece, yeah. know that it's not gonna potentially be articulated or movable. It's, it probably won't be. Yeah, and that you're gonna have to display it from the back, and not the front. It's a no go overall. That, yeah, but it's it's good. It's a nice piece. It's a nice piece for sure. It's like it, it definitely caught my eye when I first saw it. For sure, I think the lighting's perfect. If that lighted feature looks like the pictures, which I doubt as well, I don't think it's gonna be all blue out throughout. I doubt it. I yeah, think it's gonna be sparingly, it. sparingly, and I also want to see it. Um on display, which we don't have pictures of because we're just starting. But we right. probably get pictures of like actual display on display in Hong Kong or whatever. But whatever. Not for me. Pass. Well, hopefully, what are we, what's going to be the next topic? What are we thinking? I mean, we're going to do the, like you said, right? The, uh, the unboxing then. Unboxing's coming up next. Uh, I bought the, the very expensive set of uh, Nightmare Batman and Black Suit Superman. I actually, I just, bought it for the Black Man and Superman, the Black Superman suit. Just think of them as individual pieces, man. Yeah. It, it's cheaper I, that way. I think they're just gonna look great. I think they're gonna look so good on this. Yeah, they're, gonna be dope. they're definitely gonna be standout pieces, but. Agreed. That's coming up. I'm excited, dude. Yeah. I'm excited for you. <laughs> you live, you live by me. And then I, I don't have any. I don't have any pieces coming like anytime soon. Like most of mine are all Clone Wars related, and yeah. you know that got delayed by a while. So we're waiting. I'm waiting on so many. Toys Wonderland has like I'm waiting on the Boba Fett, and now I'm waiting on the Shore Trooper. Uh, Toys Wonderland is that's, that's gonna be a, uh, yeah. I was gonna say that's another session because I have a lot to talk about Toys Wonderland. Uh, you already know my my shipping situation here, but yeah, and I think we'll talk about that on another another. Next time we should talk about like sideshow, uh, Toys Wonderland, pop collectibles, and maybe compare and contrast. I think that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, for sure. I'm barely learning all the differences too right now, and I'm uh, actually loving their their, their drama too. Uh, so we get, into, we get into the drama of love it, love it. drama of the stores. <laughs> I wish I could do a thing right now with like a sticker, like a pants. And I would just put that <laughs> like, like a liar, but yeah, yeah, yeah but pants. <laughs> And then that would be it. Yeah, I'll, I'll look for something like that. But okay. All right. So I'm going to end this broadcast. We're going to upload it. And maybe we can edit it. If not, then it's going up there. But yep. thank you, everyone. I don't care if you subscribe or like. <laughs> <laughs> I really am just doing this for my own pleasure. This is really just for the two of us and for that one guy out there. Hey, I saw you again. <laughs> I thank you for watching, but I hope you have a great day. Yeah, uh, thanks, guys. You, you come back and watch our next videos. If not, it's cool. There's a lot of streamers out there that do the same thing. Yep. All right. Catch you later, guys. Juguetes en caliente. Ow! <laughs> <laughs>